Awesome. Hi. Good morning, everyone. We are here talking. Michael Berger, good morning to you. Morning, Mr. Novak. How are we? Good. What jumper do you have on there? <laughs> Fordham. What a plug. What a yeah, plug. what a plug. Oh, black on black. They do our media videos, everything. So good guys, good guys, Chad and the team. They're great guys. COVID-19, the biggest restrictions lifted of restrictions today. And we're just going to run through some of the laws that we've got. Uh, spitting, coughing, some of the... <laughs> <laughs> and put uh, and yeah. intentional spitting findable wow. findable and well, there's there's a lot of stuff in it um so we're just going to run through blast field very quickly here we go i'm going to bring up the list uh michael how's melbourne while i'm bringing up the list cold rainy <laughs> really pouring down typical melbourne but I'm sure it'll be like beautiful summer in like 30 minutes. It's um, four seasons within a day. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's very interesting. It's, it's crazy to think we're only nine hours from Sydney, Sydney and it's totally different. So it's good though. Did you plane or drive? We drove. So we actually got a van. We got a van, same as your old one. So you can oh, actually wow. tell the difference because we drove the new one up and that down. So the one less seat makes a lot more comfortable. I'll tell you that. So funny that's funny all right here we go uh hairdressers barbers here, yeah here is the list guys here is the list so uh, there's some really like look at the list like coffee there's some real blanket just idiot ones but you just got to have them in there like intentional spitting and coughing uh, like you would think that just needs doesn't need to be spoken um but oh you chuck it in there and the rest are pretty practical and it's just exciting to see people get back because you've made a post earlier, Mark, about just the curve and how steep it has gone down and yeah. how little we've had um, over the past month. So agree or not agree, the data does show there's been a huge decline. So agree or disagree, but let's focus on moving forward and getting businesses back up and running. And look, it doesn't mean we're silly about it. Hey, we still we still got to be super uh, super practical about the whole thing. But but it is a great looking. When you look at that curve, it is a sexy looking curve. It is long. Mm. It is good news. Uh, everyone should be really proud. It's been a lot of hard work for people individually, uh, yep. but everyone should be very proud of it. So so what can we do as of today? Is it as of today? It is as of today. Um, you can. <laughs> You cannot intentionally spit or cough. So I don't think you could do that yesterday either. But anyway, that's a good one. <laughs> so this goes out to kids as well. Um, so yeah, all I remember as a kid is when you put on a when you put on a cough um, and that you're uh, that you're unwell. That's mm. that's not allowed. Um, well, this is better watch the NRL. I saw a lot of spitting on that. <laughs> that's anyway. it. So another worker while at work or travelling to and from work which is reasonably or likely to, uh, to cause fear about the spread of COVID-19, not allowed. Yeah, fair care, enough. Not allowed. Uh, let's have a look. Let's start from the top. Okay, move quick. Ready? Everyone, today, this is what, these are the restrictions that are being lifted. What yep. is allowed as of today? You can travel to regional New South Wales for a holiday. You can visit museums, galleries, libraries. Uh, public clubs, cafes, and restaurants up to 50. That's big. Uh, so that's hospitality. That's probably the life and soul of many, uh, many economies and people's areas. So that's good. That's big. So you, where you got a thought about that, Michael, some businesses still won't be able to survive even the, with those rules. Yeah. So there's a bit, there's a big one where obviously some restaurants have got capacity of 200 people and sometimes just the sheer size of them, they need to have X amount of patrons and tables with people there to just make it feasible to go past the break even point to make money. And also keep in mind the rent relief is still in place. So your rent relief is based on your turnover down. So a hundred percent down is zero rent paid. If you bring back 10% turnover, then you've got to pay 10% rent, but 10% turnover will not equal 10% profit to pay for rent. So, you don't want to earn a thousand and have to pay three thousand in rent and be net minus staff. So I think some people will just stay closed. 
Um, beauty and nail salon operators can begin treatments. Lisa, yeah, that's, that's very, very happy. Yeah, like, that's good as well. Cause you gotta keep in mind, I think even though a lot of the restrictions were putting quite quickly, you are allowed barbers and hairdressers, but beauty is pretty much one on one the same. But I think their theory was they needed to at least have something good happening that you could do to get out of the home but they didn't want too many things. So I reckon that industry, some people felt pretty hard done by that they couldn't operate because they were a one-on-one -on -one business most of the time. Uh, bring back the, uh, bring back the wedding. The wedding yep. can come back up to 20 people can attend a wedding, 50 people at funerals, 50 people at churches or places of worship. Cool. So that's that's you know what probably um i i know you know you and i don't go to church much um but getting 50 people going to a church is very very important for a lot of people so to get those people in every sunday or friday or whenever they go that's good that's good for some cats out there funerals yeah. 50 people at a funeral what a terrible thing not being able to attend so that's great that's back uh, yeah, I think we're in that in Melbourne, to be honest. I'm not sure. As you know, we got a, I got a funeral tomorrow and I'm not, the restrictions are a couple of weeks behind here. So New South Wales hit 10, you know how the cafe rules was 10 people last yeah. week. Melbourne's hitting that this week. So Melbourne's a couple of weeks behind. I'm not sure the funeral one, we'll find out. I don't know, but that's so, it's so level, that curve. I, I don't know why they aren't um, being a bit more friendly on it. But bear in mind with these bars, clubs and breweries and casinos, it must you can't exceed 50 customers. A casino is going to have a lot more than 50 customers, so I think Star City is not going to be open yet. That's well, that's a pure example where just turning Star City on for 50 yeah. people, it's probably just not worth it. Can't do it now. These guys that have 50 customers, each customer needs four meters squared around them. Um, mm -hmm. and that's sort of one meter that way, that way, that way, and that way, uh, or one and a half. Um, so uh, per existing separate seated food areas and drink areas. So there you go on that number. Beauty. But that will be if you're within the one household. So then you, you're probably going to find a lot of people fibbing, aren't you? They go, can you please separate one meter? And then people just say, I'm from the same household. We yeah. live together. Yep. yep. Um, salons, they have to register everyone, by the way. So you've got to register name, number, and address of people that are coming into your salon. Cafes and restaurants, there's your 50 there as well. Uh, do you have to register for cafes and do, do you have to register for cafes no. and restaurants? No. Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Operators must have a COVID safety plan and keep a record of all people entering the premises. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Here you go. There you go. So there's, there's a tricky one, guys, if you've been wondering. Anyone entering the premises must provide their name and contact details, including telephone number and email address, if you're going to a cafe. You're we'll very see. Quiet, you're very quiet over there, Michael. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those things I think yeah. it's there to be there, but re reality of it being enforced, I don't see it. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, it's got to be there. And camping grounds, guys, if you're looking to take a break around New South Wales, one, you can go around New South Wales. Two, you can go to a caravan park and camping ground. Uh, they may open. There's no limit to the number of customers in a park or grounds. However, premises must have a COVID-19 safety plan. So isn't that interesting because... Um, a caravan park or camping ground, yeah, that they've they've got a bit of a ticket to uh, to hold a, hold larger, yep. really. So that's awesome. Beaches will be open, parks, I assume. Then, as long as everyone just does the basic one point five, I think that would be a mandate across everything: the social distancing. Well, if you you know you could even um, if you wanted to get a bunch of people together, you could go to a caravan park or camping ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. What's next? Um, community centres open. I don't really yep. use community centres. Cultural building, libraries, galleries, and museums open. Must awesome. not exceed one person per four square metres. Yep. So that four square metre rule is massive. Entertainment and amusement centres, uh, aquariums, zoos, reptile parks, any indoor cinema on the premises must remain closed. So indoor cinemas are closed. 
capacity must not exceed one per four square metres. So um, that's interesting that aquariums, zoos and reptile parks have a bit of an open slather as, as, yeah. soon, as long as they've got the four square metres. Yeah, and because I suppose they're larger areas, compared to cinemas, they're larger areas, there's open space. A cinema, the th that would almost be no one within one or two seats around you. So, yeah. Betting agents, the police. 10 customers or one per square metres, they're not helping. Uh, drive-in cinemas may open with no capacity limitation. Let's go to the drive-in, everyone. Yep, I don't know where one is. I reckon that there's one out west. There's one okay. out west. Um, Netflix it is. <laughs> okay. Funerals and memorial services. Up to 50 people may attend a funeral or memorial service. Mm -hmm. okay. Memorial is more of a public sort of scenery, outdoors. But it could be indoors. And I just suppose it's got the one. one. So if that's one square, so normally it was 1.5. So it has been reduced. So the census that you're seeing everywhere is four square metres, correct? So it's yep. one metre. Yep. So one, that's one, come one, down. One and a half, one and a half sort of, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's sort of four square metres. Two metres that way and two metres that way around you. Okay. It's a two metre square almost, isn't it? Um, okay. People attend the service will be, will be required their names and numbers. So that seems to be a big thing. Names, numbers, names, numbers everywhere you go. Yeah, for contact tracing. Fair enough. Okay, healthcare, chemist, dental, doctor, hospital, phys physiotherapist, remedial, remedial and therapeutic massage providers, um, other healthcare. Now, honestly, that remedial and therapeutic massage is a lot of people that survive on those businesses and thrive mm -hmm. on them. It's good. Yep. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, hotels and accommodation services are able to be offered without restriction. Hotels are back. Hotels are back. I went through a walk through a hotel yesterday The um, in the city, super quiet. Yeah, we really need to get domestic travel happening to fun, like to just stimulate hotels. Otherwise, they're going to have a very tough 12 months. So when you look at Queensland, their borders are still closed. That's going to struggle for them. But I imagine people will travel down to New South Wales. So it's more, when you look at the curve you put out there, it'd be, it's pretty crazy to see their border still closed. And you have New South Wales and Melbourne travelling freely. So, yeah, hopefully we can help each other. Interesting, because that curve, like, you're right, that curve is so low, so low. Yeah. Uh, um, all right, markets closed, except food markets. Okay. National food markets ma open. So markets like Manly, the Corso, that would be closed, but then you narrow been fruit market or, for or up at Forest Way. Okay. Okay, massage and tattoo parlors cannot provide services. Hmm. Mass, but didn't they just say they're open? Okay, so let's go back to that one. Yeah. Um, so uh, remedial and therapeutic yeah. massage service providers are open. So a lot of just for the difference, a lot of remedial you can use your health card there. So I just pointing a real think, difference. I don't think we want to define this any further. I think we may. Yeah. I think we may just leave it there. Yeah. Imagine tattoo parlors cannot cannot provide okay. services. Strip clubs and sex services uh, premises are closed. Damn it! Real and right next to that, real estate auctions. Uh, <laughs> we are we are open for business, practicing uh, rules. We do take names and numbers of everyone anyway. Mm -hmm. um, auction houses are four square meter, so you can go to an auction house for property. You can have a hundred people indoors. With the four square meters. That's interesting. Or 500 people outdoors. Okay. Okay. Yep. Why can't you have an auction at your wedding? <laughs> Smart. Uh, <laughs> retail stores. Retail stores can be open. Four square meter rule. Yep. Sports, recreation, gatherings, uh, up to 10 people for sport. Mm. Uh, so sport and recreation allowed public gatherings of up to 10 people, uh, use of outdoor equipment in public places, recreation activity, fishing and hunting, uh, outdoor sports uh, things. Yep, great. Okay. You know what? I haven't, asked, I haven't seen if I've got any questions from our friend. Yeah. Let me just check. Well, I think while you're looking at that, the big thing is it's not for us to pick, pick holes through it. 
it's a good step in the right direction. An interesting, st- uh, uh, an interesting thing will be how long each stage is. Just yeah. like we do with real estate market, when we say an off-market pre-portal campaign to when we go to realestate.com, it could be a day, it could be a month. You don't know how long. Same with these with these plans. It's a step in the right direction. There's a lot of other countries, Mark, who have similar results to us, and they're they're close to August. I know, um, just a, an an outrageous one, LA. They're saying lockdown to August, and their results have been quite good. And I think step in the right direction can't be too critical it's good to see and we'll see how long each stage is definitely um and motoring through activities not allowed indoor sports events a local sporting closed and restricted here we go indoor recreation activities squash courts gyms table tennis health studio Still gyms Still gyms Ice rings yep so anything uh, indoors that they're really against that's the gist Gonskis, uh, indoor public swimming pools, public outdoor, major recreation services such as stadiums, theme parks, showgrounds, race courses, uh, no go. There are no limitations to travelling within New South Wales. You may travel to regional New South Wales for Australia. Up to 10 people uh, can get out there. And um, visiting families and friends allowed up to five visitors in in any house at one time, no daily limit, as long as there's no more than five visitors. If you are over 70 with pre-existing medical conditions, you should number your visitors. An overnight stay as part of your visit uh, is allowed. Sometimes uh, you will need to attend, uh, sometimes people who need to attend your home will be counted as, will not be counted as visitors. So there are exceptions to that rule of who's Probably counted. like trades and things like that. Got it. Um, okay, compromised immune system, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, people 50 years and older with more chronic medical conditions. Okay, volunteering. There are no restrictions on volunteering for a charity, food bank or homeless shelters. Mm-hmm. Weddings. In addition to the couple, the people conducting or assisting to conduct the wedding Photographer, videographer, and up to 20 guests, including adults and children, may attend the wedding. Yeah. You'd just have the wedding outdoors and you have 500, wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, it's all, it's all good. It's a good start. Employees must, it must uh, allow employees to work from home with, within, with reasonable, practical, if it's reasonable, practical to do so. Yep. I know Melbourne, I was telling you off air, I, the, in Melbourne, the, what is it, what is it Premier? is encouraging employees to dob in their employer if they are wanting them to come into work. So I think it's really good to see New South Wales being quite progressive, where normally New South Wales is the nanny state. So it's good to see them ahead of Melbourne in, in this act. And you know what? There is risk associated with this. They are having a go. They are having a hack. They could be wrong. Yep. They could be pinned up for it. So it is a yep. bit still um, to be... Um, also, first move, you know, it's 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 risky. Um, yes. So well done to Sydney. Uh, everyone still, let's please practice and be careful about it for sure. Like, let's not let's not abuse the situation. Well, that's uh, the thing. How how the success or failure of it is up to each individual, and if they abuse it, like that's the reality of it. Big time. So that's a take, bud. I hope we helped everyone awesome. today. Awesome. And anyone can cite that website, maybe pop it in the comments, Mark. It was a newsouthwales.gov website. So it's all from there. It's all there. Awesome. Legend. Thank you. Yeah, I'll actually put in that link, um, that those rules in here, so everyone's got that. Awesome. Perfect. Talk soon. Thanks, guys. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.